Hey, it's Kara Cherniak here from the Kinder Karate Program, and I saw something today on Facebook, uh, and it was an anniversary, and I wanted to commemorate that by making a video. And it was the anniversary, today is the 17th anniversary of the day that Steve said goodbye to Blue's Clues, so he left Blue's Clues. So in honor of that, I wanted to make a video talking about the five things that I learned from Blue's Clues and how I incorporate that into my Kinder Karate program. So the first thing that I learned specifically from Steve was to not patronize little kids. One of the things as a mom watching Blue's Clues with my little boys that I loved and it made it easy for me to watch as an adult was that Steve never patronized the little kid viewers. He never used that patronizing preschool they sing song voice and because of that I as an adult was able to watch him and enjoy him. So he gave the kids credit for being smarter than everybody at that time thinks that they are. So I learned to just use an excited voice, to be genuine and to engage with the kids and to not patronize just because they're very, very young kids. The second thing that I learned was to be interactive with the kids. So many times as teachers, we want to stand up in front of the class and we just want to download all of our information into our students brains right so it's all of us talking and none of them talking so I learned from Steve to be interactive so if you watch Blue's Clues Steve would have a question and then he would pause and he would wait for the audience to interact and he would give them time to think and so in our kinder karate classes a lot of times we'll do something called a callback so I'll ask a question and I'll wait for the kids to answer. Now I may do things that lead them to the answer. Uh, it's called a callback. Even as, as the very young kids, I might give them the first sound. So today we did a kick and it's called the B and they'll say back kick, right? But I allow them to interact with me and answer and contribute to the conversation. The third thing that I learned from Steve at Blue's Clues is Blue's Clues aired the same show all week. And the reason that they did that was repetition, repetition, repetition. It allowed the kids to get mastery of the concepts. So in our kinder karate classes, we believe in repetition. We have a cycle where we learn a kick, a block, a strike, and we put it all together for a self-defense move in for our belt test or in that cycle. So the kids get repetition, 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 instead of in a typical martial arts class, if they don't have a set schedule, you may have different teachers coming in at different times and it's basically based on what do I feel like teaching today? So today they may see front kick, next week they may see back kick, or in two days they may see um, roundhouse kick. So in Kinder Karate, we like to stick with one technique of each for the whole cycle. That way the kids get the repetition and they gain a mastery experience over that repetition, building their confidence. The fourth thing that I learned from Steve at Blue's Clues was to use imagination as a learning tool. So in our Kinder Karate classes, we do our warm ups, we do our regular drills uh, for what they're learning. And then at the end, we always end with some type of race, game, obstacle course, something that's interactive but allows them to use their imagination to put into practice what they just learned. Kids' brains learn through play. And so for some of the really, really super serious parents who are like, oh, I don't know, are they really learning the martial arts in your class? The answer is yes, they're learning it at a foundational level. And yes, we do have races and games at the end because kids make sense of their world. They organize their information through play and through the use of their imagination. So at the end, we do those things. It allows them to get that deeper into their mind because they role played it. The fifth thing that I learned from Steve at Blue's Clues is that we can all work together. So if you watch a Blue's Clues episode, Steve was willing to learn from anybody that he uh, encountered in the episode. He learned from the salt shakers, he learned from the mailbox, he learned from the neighbor next door, he learned from one of Blue's friends. 
So he was able to learn as he went from everybody. And so in our classes, because they're interactive, there's so many times even the kids will teach me something. I will pick up a new way to teach it based on how a student responded or, well, we could do it this way. And it's amazing to me that even at this young age, three, four, five, and six, I am still learning from them. So as a kinder karate teacher, I don't have an ego that's so big that's I'm the teacher and you're the student. We all learn from each other. And also, I have students that become leaders. I believe in the phrase, learn to teach and teach to learn. So, so many times I will have some of my students come up in front of the class on a volunteer basis because they want to and help me teach the three steps to a kick or the three steps to a strike. And they love doing it. They learn by demonstrating to others. And then the other kids learn because it's from somebody who's even more their age. And it also builds their confidence. That's called a vicarious experience. So they learn that because he did it or she did it, I can also be a leader. I can also come up in front of the class and I can demonstrate and show others and build my confidence. And as adults, we all know that so many adults um, their biggest fear is public speaking and speaking in front of others. So isn't it great that at age three, four, five, and six, they have the confidence to come up in front of a class and lead a class, even if it is only for three steps. So all of those things I learned from Steve and Blue's Clues, and I wanna take a moment to thank you. Thank you, Stephen Burns, for teaching me all of those things, even when I didn't know that I was learning it, so that later on, I could, 10 years later, actually, I could put them all into place in my kinder karate programs. And I hope that one day when I grow up, I could be just like Steve. So thank you for tuning in to what I learned from Blue's Clues. And if you're interested in karate classes for your three, four, five-year-old, six-year-old in the Pittsburgh or surrounding areas, give us a call, 844-K-I-N-D-E-R-S, 844-Kinders. Have a great day.